Turkish Airlines Euroleague in association with Belgrade, the Serbian capital, a city perched on the confluence of the mighty Danube and Sava rivers. This is a place with a storied history dating back to the Roman Empire, and tonight it's host to two teams with plenty of history of their own, Savena Zvezda and Seska Moscow. Having previously faced off in a European Cup semi-final way back in the early 70s, these two last came face to face in last season's EuroLeague playoffs. Seska would sweep the series 3-0, going on to meet Fenerbahce in the final and winning a seventh EuroLeague crown. Charles Jenkins is playing his third season for the Serbian champions after a brief spell away in Milan. He's enjoying a fine return to Belgrade, achieving seven career highs already this season. Rebounds, assists, points and steals. He's hard to handle all over the court. Opposing guard Aaron Jackson is playing his fifth campaign with Seska. He ranks in the top three for his team in points and performance index rating. Like Jenkins, he's making an all-round effort without grabbing headlines like Taya Dosic or DiColo. Can he help the reigning champions respond to just their second defeat of the season? Or will Red Star remain red hot on home court to pull off another upset? We're at the Combank Arena for Savena Zvezda MTS Belgrade against Seska Moscow. Yes, what a weapon this arena is for Savena Zvezda, one of the rowdiest houses in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. The undisputed sixth man for the Serbians here tonight. The home team arrive at this arena with a 6-8 and eight record so far. Although here on home court, they're 4-3, and three, winning three of their last four, all against former EuroLeague champions. Tonight, can they beat the reigning champions, Seska Moscow? They'll need a big defensive performance, no doubt, but that's been their calling card so far this season. Last week, they held the previous EuroLeague champion, Real Madrid, to 70 points here, although they were impressive on the offensive end as well. And they'll need a similar caliber of performance against this slot here tonight. The defending champions have made the three hour flight southwest from Moscow. The big question is will we see Nondo De Colo this evening out with injury since round seven? Although he has returned to domestic action, now are we going to see him in the EuroLeague? All of these guys will be desperate to respond after last week's collapse on home court in overtime against Fenerbahce, just their second defeat of the season. So welcome inside the Combank Arena, the Serbian Adriatic League champion, Savena Zvezda, taking on the Russian and EuroLeague champions, Seska Moscow. A very warm welcome to Belgrade from me, Tim Long. Round 15 action here in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague tonight. We're just this game away from the midway point of the new and improved regular season. And here's the standing. Seska still three wins clear at the top despite last week's setback. Savena Zvezda on the cusp of the playoff spots in ninth there. Just one win behind Efes, who are playing Real Madrid at the moment. Only three wins separating bottom place Galatasaray from that all-important eighth place. And what an atmosphere it is in this arena already. As we see the fixtures for round 15 elsewhere tonight. Efes against Real Madrid already well underway. Olympiacos against Fenerbahce, Milan against Jalgiris, and Basconia against Maccabi. They uh, all tip off later on, and we've got three games tomorrow night as well to take us to the midway point. Well, they have packed this place out here. It is looking fabulous as ever. The red and white flags flying high. And uh, Savena Zvezda hoping to cause another upset, as they did on this court last week against Real Madrid. They certainly don't fear anyone here 
And this man is one of the main reasons why. Marko Simonovic, a big offensive weapon for them. Averaging 12.6 points per game, although double figures in six of the last eight EuroLeague games, he's averaged 14.6 points in that run. So he is improving as well. The only player on this roster, though, that scores in double figures. And you can see his shooting percentages there, very impressive. He is their Serbian sharpshooter. Cesca with a 9-0 record over the decades against Savena Zvezda, including that 3-0 sweep of their playoff series last season. It's going to have to be something special to see an update, an upset rather here tonight, and to see Milos Teodosic's team put to the sword. What a season he is having. Quite a remarkable 18.7 points per game and a EuroLeague best 8.2 assists per game this season. He's had five double-doubles in 12 appearances so far, double-doubles in points and assists. Extremely impressive. And, uh, of course, he's been carrying some extra weight on his shoulders because of the absence of that man, Nondo Di Colo. But he looks set to return here this evening, having been out of action in the EuroLeague since round seven. What a boost for Seska to have Di Colo back. Here's your officials for... Tonight's game from Spain, Turkey and Israel. And just a couple of minutes from getting this one underway. Savannah Zvezda couldn't have asked for a more tricky tie on home court. Following the Christmas period and before the new year, what a way to end 2016. Here's their roster. As we've mentioned, just one double-figure scorer in Simonovic. Although they do have two of the league's best on defence. Ogni and Kuzmic tied for first in the competition with eight rebounds per game. And Charles Jenkins ranking second with 1.9 steals per game. Seska, of course, led by Teodosic. He ranks second in scoring in the competition with those 18.7 points per game. First in assists. And uh, last season's MVP, Nondo Di Colo, right at the top of that list, is back, having missed the last seven games. And uh, in his absence, they have had big performances to uh, help out on the offensive end from the likes of Corey Higgins and Aaron Jackson, who were both averaging around the 10 points per game mark. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how long Di Colo plays for here tonight, what kind of balance they have in the offense. That's the job, of course, for the head coach, Dimitris Itoudis the EuroLeague coach of the year. Although Savannah Zvezda to have that tag of giant killers, especially on this court. And they're a team that's relatively new to this level of competition. Only playing in the EuroLeague for the first time a few years ago, but they've improved year on year. And those fans have come to expect a little bit more each year. They first ever EuroLeague campaign followed then the next season by a first ever top 16 appearance and then last season a first ever playoff appearance although it all came unstuck against the eventual champions Seska Moscow two clubs who've had recent histories intertwined in fact histories both in the near and distant past intertwined I mentioned at the top of the show they faced each other back in the European Cup semi-finals of the 72-73 season. Seska won both of those games by eight here in Belgrade and by 17 in Moscow. Last season in the EuroLeague playoffs, a 3-0 sweep for Seska. Milos Teodosic and Kyle Hines both had career nights in game one of that series. Teodosic set a playoffs personal best of 23 points, shooting four of five inside and four of five from downtown. Six rebounds and six assists as well in that game with an index rating of 28. And Kyle Hines, who we'll see introduced as well, set a EuroLeague career high of 21 points. And Seska won that opening game of the playoffs, 84-74. The Russians being introduced to the fans in Belgrade at the moment. And looking to get back to winning ways. And the last time they lost in the EuroLeague, they responded with a six-game win streak. 
what can coach Atudis' team come up with? And they won't have uh, liked the idea of travelling here to play in this atmosphere after that defeat in a rematch of last season's final against Fenerbahce on their home floor a week ago. Dejan Radonjic is the head coach of the home team, Savannah Zvezda. Great success since he's taken over here. As I mentioned, improvement year on year. Let's hear from coach Radonjic right now. I will go. They are the best offensive team in Europe. We need to have good concentration of 40 minutes to play. Defense, stop their transition offense, play a pick and roll defense with communication <coughs> between each other. You heard the coach allude to it there. Seska arriving with the EuroLeague's best offense, averaging 92 points per game. Although Zvezda has the second best defense, 75 points per game. All right, so um, I'll start with, with this word. We, we talk about the, um, the circumstances we have to face over there. And um, we need a, a good balanced offense and everybody to be on the same page because when we turn over the, the ball and it's written on the, the stats, a lot of times when it's a bad balanced offense or it's one man show or it's no, no pass game, then it, it, it becomes bad as well. It, it might not be written on the paper, but that's not our game. And as we, we've seen uh, through the movie. His team also leading the competition in three-point shooting. 43.3% from the outside as a team. Andrei Voroncevic second in the EuroLeague at just shy of 60% from downtown. So it's a, a contrast of styles here this evening from the two head coaches. We've got tenacious defense taking on relentless offense. Will it be defense or offense that comes out on top? Will it be coach Radonjic or coach Etudis? He does have all of his big weapons back in business in Belgrade here tonight. Decolo joining the other stars on the floor for coach Dimitri Sitoudis' team. So Dejan Radonjic has as tough a job as he could possibly have here in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague in his uh, team's defence trying to combat those offensive weapons. This is the starting five that coach Radonjic goes with. We've talked about a number of those players, Kuzmic and Jenkins, Jovic, the point guard, 5.4 assists per game this season. He runs this team. And uh, Kuzmic has stepped up recently in terms of scoring along with Jovic, both double figures in the last three games. Here's the starting five for Seska, Augustine and uh, Kriapa, Fridzon and Jackson in there, along with Nondo Decolo, who does get the start. Teodosic starts on the bench. There are one or two little subplots this evening. Savannah Zvezda's Marko Simonovic and Stefan Jovic have played alongside Seska's Milos Teodosic on the Serbian national team in recent years. All three winning silver at the Olympic Games in Rio together this summer, as well as at the 2014 Basketball World Cup in Spain. And uh, what a big night it could be for Teodosic coming back to Serbia and uh, always hoping to put on a performance. And he will want to recover as well, because in that overtime defeat to Fenerbahce last week, he did have 21 points and five assists, but he was just three of 12 from downtown, and he had nine turnovers. Novak Djokovic's father in the audience tonight, one of the many thousand we have seen Novak himself, that's the Venezuela games in recent times. Anybody who's anybody in Serbia will have wanted to grab a ticket for this one. Serbia! 
The defending champions have arrived in town. So Venez Vesda looking to test themselves again against the very best in Europe. It's a relative newcomer at this level, looking to enhance their giant killer re reputation. And they're taking on these seven-time and defending EuroLeague champions. You can barely hear yourself think inside here with this atmosphere. The back-to-back -back reigning Serbian and Adriatic League winners taking on the 47-time and reigning Russian champions. Savena Zvezda against Seska Moscow is live in round 15 of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague regular season. Just take a moment and listen to the noise from the fans in Belgrade. This is why this is such a difficult arena for visiting teams to come and play at. One of the best, if not the best, atmospheres in world basketball. So Venezuela, red and white stripes, Seska Moscow, red with a bit of blue. It looks like it's going to be red hot here tonight. Ognjen Kuzmic and James Augustine to get us underway. And Savena Zvezda will start with the ball. Stefan Jovic. Fired through in towards the paint. Kuzmic trying to turn, puts the ball on the floor off the backboard but can't get the shot to go. And Nondo Di Colo has his first touch in the EuroLeague since round seven. He can't hit his first shot though. Rebound grabbed by Augustine, and they'll have a fresh 14 here, Seska. Aaron Jackson, shot clock down to five now. Jackson goes around the screen of Augustine, back out and around the outside now to Fridzon. Held up here, he's not going to get a shot away, and there's one of those steals that we're talking about from Savannah's Vesta and from Charles Jenkins. Jenkins, a league high, 1.9 steals per game this season. Mitrovic towards the baseline. Trying to get underneath the rim and puts it in. So Venezuela have the early lead. Luka Mitrovic, 23-year-old Serbian. And down the baseline with the pass goes De Colo, the three-point shot too long. Rebound grabbed by Jovic. Jovic looking to run the floor all the way, coast to coast, and doubles Savannah's Vesta's lead. Seska still waiting to get going. De Colo harassed again by Jenkins. De Colo able to get free. Back out to the perimeter, but Kriapa's forced back here. Shot clock down to the final seconds again. Here goes Nondo De Colo, bounce pass onto the foul line, put up off the mark, and tip back, although towards Augustine before it's recovered completely into Seska hands spin move towards the baseline from Kriapa and the first foul comes from Charles Jenkins who has started so tenaciously seven point nine points and two point four assists as well as those one point nine steals per game Here's De Colo behind the back, trying to spin it back towards the corner, but it's picked off. Savena Zvezda all the way down court again. Nemanja Danubic puts it in, a 6-0 start for the Serbs. Red star, red hot, right out of the gates. Timeout called in Belgrade. Savena Zvezda 6, Seska Moscow 0. What a start for the home team. 
scoring the first six points, and it's the number six, Nemanja Dangubic, who races down the floor to stretch the advantage. That tenacious defence providing the platform. Savannah Zvezda with three players scoring already. And Seska have started with a two-minute drought. Can the defending champions get themselves on the board? Here with Aaron Jackson controlling the ball. Goes around the screen of Augustine. And he's called for a carry. So off the back of the timeout, Seska Mosko turned the ball over. And Savena Zvezda have an opportunity to stretch their lead even further. Mitrovic hangs it high into the centre. Kuzmic, the bounce pass down the baseline wouldn't quite go for Jovic. Here comes Jackson going through the gears. His bounce pass connects as well, but Augustine misses the layup. Jovic, he's going to get fouled on the perimeter. It's on Victor Kriapa, the first on Seska. And they're just not willing to settle at all, Savena Zvezda. Lightning fast offense down the floor in transition. Jovic, moved on by Mitrovic on this near side now, is Charles Jenkins. Trying to spin. Here's Mitrovic to the edge of the paint, kicks it back out. Jovic thought about the three, then had the ball wrestled off him. And Seska down the floor have to stop the rot here. No, they don't. Unbelievable start from Seska. They just can't score. Jenkins for three. Bang! The Serbian surge continues. It's a Belgrade blockbuster of a start from Savena Zvezda. 9-0 in the opening three and a half minutes. Tocolo trying to grab the ball, had it knocked away. Deafening in this arena. Long open two, won't go down. And the rebound's grabbed by Kuzmic. Quick pass down the floor. Danubic in behind, scores. An 11-0 run to start for the Serbian champions. Tocolo. Harassed on the ball again, and then across to the far side, the foul call. They very nearly came up with another steal. The foul is on Stefan Jovic. Well, Seska Moscow have started 0 of 6 from the field. So Venez Vezda, 4 of 6. And Charles Jenkins, who's been a huge part of this defensive display so far, getting on the board on the offensive end as well. Four minutes without a score for Seska. Teodosic, oh, another steal! Down the floor goes Jenkins! Relentless from Savannah Zvezda. The reigning champions cut apart at the combank. Bounce pass towards the baseline. Back to the foul line it goes. Hines, who's just come into the game, another miss. Mitrovic across to Jovic now. Jovic off the mark from the outside. Rebound grabbed by Hines. Teodosic pulls up three pointer. Finally, something to quieten the crowd just a little. Seska Moscow stopped a near five minute rot. Well, we are set up for some night in Belgrade now. As uh, Luka Mitrovic will go to the foul line for the first time. Foul on Vorotsevic, the second on Seska as a team. And Luka Mitrovic at the line, only averaging 3.5 points per game in 15 minutes per game so far this season. 
And he's only shot 35% from the field. He misses his first foul shot. He'll miss them both. Although it's going to be Savannah's Vesta ball. And nothing is going Seska's way right now. And that three-pointer from Teja Dosic. Stop to run of seven missed shots at the start of the game for Seska. Jovic to inbound, although Teja Dosic is there to grab it. Now he'll look to run the floor. Bounce pass picked off. It's Jenkins again. What a start from him. And coming down the floor, he'll get fouled by Kyle Hines. Well, they are playing with such a fire in their bellies right now, Savena's Vesda. They've seen the reigning champions come to town and they have risen to the challenge. Here's Jenkins again. He's got a couple of steals already in just over five minutes. Jovic. Mitrovic wrestling with Ted Osic to try and get free down the baseline. Three-pointer, Dangubic knocks it down. Ted Osic, oh, another steal. This time it's Jovic. Knocked away, can he recover? Just couldn't quite walk the tightrope on the baseline to keep it in play. The Serbian champions leading the Russian champions by 13 points early on. Nemanja Dangubic with the latest dagger to coach Etudis' heart. Corey Higgins. Looking to turn and attack it from the near side, scooping the ball on is Kurbanov, and it's put in for just the second field goal in six minutes for Seska. This one from Kyle Hines. There goes Nate Walters into the game, trapped over on that sideline and forced into turning the ball over. The 25-year-old American who'd come in. Just sucks a little bit of the momentum out of the house for now. A chance for Seska to make it a single-digit game again. Higgins. Able to receive the ball on this near side again. It's Nikita Korbanov who is starting to link things inside for Seska. Great awareness here. Little bounce pass, open dunk for Heinz. So the lead has been cut from 13 to 9. Here's Jenkins getting in towards the paint. Bounce pass from him, hesitation. As uh, Kuzmich looked to rise to the rim. And he gets the foul on Kyle Hines. Got Hines up in the air and made sure there was contact. Really has thrived since moving back to his native Serbia. Ognjen Kuzmich. A joint Euroleague high, eight rebounds per game, one steal per game, 9.1 points in 22 minutes a game. On the floor, 57% shooting from the field as well. He knocks down both foul shots and makes it a double-digit lead again. Hines waiting for a bit of movement. And he hands the ball off to Ted Osic. Back to him from Voroncevic, who tries to get free. There he is again, that man, Charles Jenkins, looking to attack the rim and puts it in. Great defence turning into great offence. It's the story of Charles Jenkins' season so far. I make that his fourth steal of the game. And there's a foul on the perimeter there on Jenkins as Ted Dosic was off the mark. And that is the second foul on Charles Jenkins, so that might just stop his red-hot start. So 
So Jenkins takes a seat on two fouls, but four steals in under seven and a half minutes. And that's the one stat that really illustrates the start that Savena Zvezda have made. Aaron Jackson clinging onto the ball. Shot clock down to the final few seconds. Across to the far side it goes. They'll try and get inside. That's another lovely move through the paint, this time from Vorotsevich. Savannah Zvezda leading by 11. Approaching the final two minutes of the first. Nate Walters now. Across to the far side, then in towards the big man it goes. Kuzmich looking to kick it back out. The three will fall into the game and providing an instant impact. Marko Simonovic. That's tipped away and recovered by Danubic. On it goes to Walters. Walters looking to get in towards the foul line. Back out it goes to Dangubic, and they will cling on to it and try and create something here with Walters. Across to the far side, Kuzmich calling for the ball. Closed down now by Hines. Back to the perimeter, another three. This time short from Lazic. Sesko with three of four from the outside before that miss. And... Uh, well, Savena Zvezda were, and Seska down the other end of the floor. And Vorontsevic making it two baskets in quick succession. Walters into the paint, right hand off the glass, good. And Seska just can't find a way to stop the bleeding here. 25 first quarter points from Savena Zvezda. Ted Osic looked to pull up for the three, then changed his mind, passed it, back out it comes, another three, this time good on Vorotsevich with seven quick fire points. Looking to spark a Seska comeback. Walters across to the far side. Simonovic looking to get in the way. Danubic back to Walters. Kuzmich rolls into the centre. Here's Simonovic again. Looking to get inside and he's fouled. Although Vorontsevich feels that was a pretty harsh call. 3.4 remaining on the shot clock as the foul goes on Andrei Vorontsevich. Marko Simonovic looking to attack. Close call for the referee. Savannah Zvezda will have a chance to stretch their lead back to 13. And this man has really come to the fore in his third straight Euroleague campaign with Vezda. 12.6 points per game so far, up from 7.4 last season. And he's shooting 67% inside and 45% from downtown. And making them from the line as well. Aaron Jackson. Shot clock turned off at the end of the first quarter. A terrible start for Seska. Jackson clinging onto the ball and getting into the paint, but there's a foul called on the perimeter before the shot. Foul on Nate Walters. Just there. The referee saying not in the act of shooting. And so Jackson took a few extra steps. And so with 6.9 seconds, Ter Dosic to inbound from the sideline. Here's Jackson again. We're going to go through the gears again. Finds a gap but misses, and the tip is off the mark as well. So no joy at the start of the quarter, and no joy at the end of the quarter for Seska Moscow. What a 10 minutes of basketball from Savannah Zvezda. They have blown the reigning champions to bits in Belgrade. Savannah Zvezda, 27. Seska Moscow, 14 at the end of one. Well, let's take a look at some of the first quarter highlights. What a quarter it was for Savannah Zvezda. Mitrovic edging his way down the baseline to finish there. They had so many different contributors on the defensive and offensive ends. Jovic 
down the floor. Plenty of those baskets in transition on the fast break. Dangovic, another one there. Coach Dimitris Utudis of Seska Moscow, not happy at all. Jenkins with the three off one of his four steals on the defensive end. There's another as he raced down the floor to finish. A theme of the first quarter, no doubt. The tenacious defense from Savena Zvezda. Ter Dosic finally got Seska going. They started with a five minute drought, but Dangubic hit one from the outside to answer back. And by the time Seska really got rolling and finding some flow in their offense, Savena Zvezda already had opened up a double digit lead. Picture perfect from Savena Zvezda so far. A 13 point lead, 27 to 14. There's a look at the shooting numbers. Very impressive indeed from them. 10 of 19 from the field. Seska just 6 of 15 so far. Savena Zvezda led by seven points apiece from Charles Jenkins and Nemanja Dangubic. Five from Marko Simonovic quickly after coming into the game, and then a bunch of players who have all scored a couple of points. Milos Teodosic was the player who got Seska Moscow finally going after a near five-minute drought to start, but they're led by the seven of Andrei Vorontsevich. So here we go, start of the second quarter. Savena Zvezda 27, Seska Moscow 14. And the defending champions will start with the ball with Jackson, who kicks it over to the far side quickly. Back to Teo Dosic. Inside it goes, and a free passage to the hoop. With the defence perhaps a little bit overzealous, and Semon Antonov is able to score. Walters looking to go around the high screen of Bielitzer, who rolls inside, posts up. Walters clings onto it, little fade away, can't hit the close jumper and the rebound is wrestled down by Antonov crossover towards the baseline bounce pass a little bit of hesitation and there'll be a foul called Nikita Korbanov has been pretty diligent inside since coming in he's the one player that really sparks Seska into life with his awareness inside Providing a couple of assists. A player of great experience, his eighth EuroLeague campaign with the club. Played a part in the title wins of both 2006 and then a decade later, 2016. Able to hit them both. Single digit game again. This sizable deficit that Seska have started with won't phase them at all. They'll have great belief in their own ability, and their own firepower. They know that they will get going properly sooner rather than later. And you wonder how long Savena Zvezda can keep up that kind of intensity on defence. There's a miss and a rebound for Seska. Now they can look to close the gap to seven. Inside again, Kurbanov banks it in. Good strong move inside once more from the 30-year-old Russian. So Seska have closed the gap from 13 down to seven, and this time it's coach Radonjic calling timeout. Venezvesta starting the game with a 13-0 run. Seska have started the second quarter with a 6-0 run. The defending champions back in business in Belgrade.
Coach Dejan Rodonjic calling the timeout just to try and make sure this Seska run doesn't continue. And a great deal of hard work has gone into building up a bit of breathing room for Savannah Zvezda. Milko Bielitz are one of the players that's come in though at the start of the second quarter and it's not quite gone to plan for them. Here's Jovic. Threatened to hand it off, plays it on further instead towards Bielitzer and a foul is called. It's on Antonov, I think. So the baseline inbound from Jovic, back deep to Simonovic. Ball on the floor, looking to attack quickly, and he scores. That's what Marko Simonovic is all about this season. First points of the second quarter for Savena Zvezda. Jackson kicks it out, moved on to the corner. Vorotsevic can't get it to go. And uh, Simonovic comes up with a rebound as well. Inside towards Bielitsa, another foul, this time on Korbanov. Trying to reach the ball over the shoulder of Milko Bielitsa. Jovic to inbound from the baseline, two fouls in quick succession for Seska. Non-shooting foul, so Guderich looking to attack now through the paint, trying to connect with Bielitz on the bounce pass, although perhaps a little bit too close to him. Well, the atmosphere in the first quarter of this game, I thought the roof was going to come off the Combank Arena. It's not quite as ferocious at the moment. My own fans perhaps sensing that Seska Moscow are finding their flow here as they move it across to the far side, drive towards the baseline, bounce pass towards Korbanov. And uh, Seska having to really work to try and find a free route to the rim as the ball is knocked out of bounds under the hoop by Lazic. Well, that's good for Aaron Jackson with the contact. So Seska a chance to close the gap to six points now. Off the baseline inbound, Jackson got free to finish. And this is another player who's having a standout season. 9.5 points, 3.2 assists per game in 21 minutes per game. And he misses that one, and it's batted back, though, into the hands of Aaron Jackson. Here he goes again. Bounce pass back, Korbanov with the big jam. What an introduction he's made. And that sums up the momentum that Seska are building. They're back within five. Guderich. Bielitsa. Bielitsa looking to get towards the basket, knocked away, able to recover and put it in off the backboard. Well, Savannah's Vesta's momentum has dissipated with the absence of Jenkins after picking up that second foul, and Seska just keep on rolling. Ter Dosic is second from the outside, closes the gap to four. Guderich onto Lazic, hangs it high, but over the top of Bielitzer, who looks at him and asks, what are you doing? Sloppy play from Savannah Zvezda. Jackson trying to take advantage. Sloppy play from him too. It's kept in play on this near side by Guderich, who attacks and scores! With a whole heap of contact, Guderich gets it to go. Sheer force of will to flip that one up and in. can see the disappointment etched on the face of Semen Antonov. And they say if you're going to foul, foul hard enough to make sure that your opponent can't score. I think Seska thought they'd done that. Marco Guderich gets the two and a trip to the line to try and add an extra one. Tremendous move from the 21-year-old Serb.
He does complete the three-point play, so it's a seven-point Savannah Zvezda lead. Fred's on. Back it goes to Aaron Jackson. Jackson across towards the far side. Kriapa looking for the handoff. Ted Dosic didn't have an inch to move into, but it's forced in by Augustine. A chance for a three-point play to answer back down the other end. This foul on Kuzmic. Really good adjustment from Augustine as well. And he completes the three-point play. So it's a four-point game again. Jovic. Harassed by Jackson, who tries to get it picked off in the defensive half of the court. And it goes towards Kuzmich now, little hook shot from him, won't fall. And now here comes Ted Dosic in transition. Across to the far side, Fridson. Back it goes to Kriapa. The handoff for Ted Dosic, who's still got plenty of time to work with here, away from the screen of Augustine. Jackson, little pirouette on the foul line. Final four seconds of the shot clock now. Across to the far side, long two wouldn't go. And the foul goes in favour of Savannah Zvezda. Seska thought they had the offensive rebound. Foul on Fridzon, who eventually recovered the ball. Midway point of the second quarter, four points the difference. Seska, who are trying to turn up the intensity on defence now, as uh, Kriapa is called for the foul. And already, just before the midway point of the second quarter, the defending champions are now over the foul limit. So every single foul now on the defensive end from Seska for the next five minutes and four seconds will send Savena Zvezda to the foul line. This time it's Marco Guduric who's there. And just looking to keep Seska at bay. Hugely talented young player, part of the Serbia team that won gold at the 2015 Under-20 European Championships. He's up to nine points, 2.5 rebounds and 2.1 assists per game in 18 minutes per game this season. Fritz off. Augustine, the pick and roll, tried to get into the center. Back out it comes for the three. The rebound's grabbed by Kriapa to the far side. Three for Fritz on, won't fall. And Savannah Zvezda are able to come up with a rebound eventually. Jovic into the paint. Kuzmic closed down by two, and Ted Dosic got a big piece of it. It's going to be one of those nights where you just have to wrestle for every single point on every single play, every single loose ball. It's a big fight atmosphere in Belgrade. Rory Higgins coming into the game for Seska. Here's Kuzmic. Back to Jovic. And the high post back across to the far side. It goes again, and there is a foul straight away on Higgins, who just come in. And Savannah Zvezda will shoot foul shots again, with Seska over the foul limit. First personal on Corey Higgins. Higgins, who's actually the most accurate three-point shooter in uh, history of players still active in the EuroLeague. Seska have a few of those kind of stats. It's a roster packed full of firepower. There's been more firepower from the host tonight, though. 
Marco Guderich at the line again, doing the business. Savena Zvezda up by eight. Here's Higgins, trying to get away from Lazic, and the contact is called. That's the fourth team foul on Savena Zvezda. First personal on Lazic. Higgins clinging onto the ball, high screen from Augustine. Looking back out towards Fritz on shot clock down to the final seconds, has to go the other way to the baseline. Augustine battling for the ball. Savannah's Vesta are going to come up with it again. Suffocating defense from the Serbs. Story of the night so far. Well, there was no way to Fritz on, on the perimeter. And the only player on the baseline available was Jackson, who didn't really have anywhere to go. What will his plan be at half-time when he gets a few minutes with his players? A really big four minutes now here in the first half. Especially with that Seska foul trouble. Goodrich. A roll inside from Kuzmich, although Goodrich is called for a travel. The 21-year-old turns the ball over. Just when I was saying it's a big four minutes. That is not the way Savannah's Vesta wanted to start it. Teodosic is going to take a seat. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to inbound the ball, I beg your pardon. We haven't seen Nondo Di Colo since those opening four minutes when Savannah's Vesta ran riot. There's a foul away from the ball handler, Teodosic. That's another one on Goodrich by the looks of it. So he's going to take a seat, his second foul. Savannah's Vesta at the foul limit for the second quarter now as Nemanja Dangubic comes in. As well as the steel stats, this rather sums it up for Savannah's Vesta so far. Dangubic coming in is their joint leading scorer in the game. He, along with Simonovic, Jenkins and Goodrich all have seven points. It has been a true team performance in the first half from Savannah's Vesta. The lead is only six, though. Jovic. Here is Dangubic. Back to Jovic again. High screen set by Kuzmic, who then looks to get inside. Around the perimeter it goes. Mitrovic thought about the three, steps in, tried to attack down the lane, but he was surrounded by red shirts, and Kriapa came away with the ball. Kriapa on to Ted Osic, quick release on the three, won't go. And Kuzmic grabs the rebound. Jenkins back in the game on those two fouls, had four steals in the first quarter. Jovic twisting and turning. On it goes to Dangubic, in towards Mitrovic now. Shot clock down to the final five seconds. Mitrovic inside and call for the offensive foul as he put his shoulder into the body of his opponent. Look at this, the spin move with the shoulder straight into the chest of Kriapa. Will Savannah's Vesda be able to hold off Seska Moscow until half time. That's the most pertinent question at the moment. Higgins back out to Fridzon. Higgins then looking to turn an attack down the baseline. Denied by Kuzmich. Jovic. Now can they make it count on the offensive end? Back to Kuzmich. Puts it in. Doing the damage at both ends of the floor. Savannah Zvezda lead by eight. The big block on the defensive end. And then the finish on the offensive end off another assist for Jovic. 
Timeout called by Seska Mosca. You can see there Seska winning the second quarter by five points, 18 to 13, but having lost the first by 13 points. His team getting closer and closer, but just can't quite complete the comeback just yet. Being held at arm's length by the Serbian champions. It's been a night of frustration so far for Dimitri Sitoudis, the early coach of the year. There's been an improvement from his team, no doubt about that. After a really rough start, they still trail by eight points, though. Charles Jenkins playing on two fouls. He was the catalyst for that lightning-fast Savena Zvezda start. Here's De Colo back into the ball game. Now Ter Dosic. Lost it, another steal for Savena Zvezda. Three on one, fast break now. Simonovic down the floor, couldn't finish, but it's tipped up and in. Stefan Jovic with the final touch. The hosts have their double digit lead back. De Colo towards the baseline, kick to the corner to Ter Dosic. Shoots over the top of the defender, can't hit. And the foul is on Augustine. Well, look at that look. Coach Etude is not a happy man at the moment. It's a couple of times in this first half off the back of timeouts. It has all gone wrong for them. I said it would be a big final few minutes of the second quarter. It looked as though Seska might be able to overturn the double digit deficit before half time. But not anymore. I believe the largest lead of the game has been 13, and Savena Zvezda are closing in on that again. The lead is 12. 98 seconds remaining in the first half. To Colo. It's been absolutely no joy for him on his comeback so far. Kriapa. Back out to Ted Osic. Will he look to fire the three again? Gets inside, pass onto the baseline. Augustine, another miss. Here comes Jenkins. There was just no room to operate. Jenkins all the way and puts it in. They have been electric with him on the floor so far tonight. Ted Osic and Akolo trying to score. It still won't go down. The comeback is rocking again. Dangubic, the lead up to 14. Jenkins now. They are threatening to blow the roof off this arena. Jenkins the three, maybe that would have done it. Savena Zvezda close to the half-century mark in the first half against the defending champions. Jackson drives down the baseline for the free finish. And just a couple of seconds differential between shot and game clock. At the end of the first half, we're going to have ourselves another timeout. This drive from Aaron Jackson stopping a 12-0 Savena Zvezda run. There's a look at some of the game leaders. Jenkins on nine points now, as well as those four steals for Savena Zvezda. But it has been a team performance. There's no doubt about that from the home team here so far tonight.
Four players between seven and nine points for Savannah Zvezda. Seska Mosko led by the seven of Vorontsevic, although all of those seven came in the space of a minute or so. They've got Teodosic on six and Kurbanov on six. Nikita Kurbanov is the one man who's really had things go his way for Seska so far. Six points, two of two from the field, two of two from the line and three assists in under 10 minutes on the floor. Off the back of the timeout, Savannah Zvezda up by 12. Little differential between shot and game clock at the end of the second quarter, so Jovic holding it for as long as possible. And now Jenkins. Jenkins with the crossovers, looks to attack. Spin move, in the paint, high off the glass, would have fall, but a foul. Oh boy, is he playing with some confidence. With one second remaining on the shot clock, the foul goes on Augustine. Just looked like he caught Jenkins on the wrist a little there. Eagle eye from the officials. And Charles Jenkins goes to the line for a chance to become the first player in double digits here this evening. It'll leave Seska Mosco 3.3 seconds to respond before the half-time buzzer. And that one takes Jenkins on to 10 points in only a little over 10 minutes on the floor because he sat for a while with those two fouls. And he'll get them both. What a first-half performance from Charles Jenkins. Four of five from the field, two of two from the line, and four steals. Savannah Zvezda's lead is 15. Can Seska Moscow eat into it with the final shot of the half? They don't get it away on time. And that sums up the tenacity on defence from Savannah Zvezda. Just look at the Combank Arena right now. Their team lead the defending champions by 14 at half-time, 48 to 34. Well, they beat Real Madrid here last week. They're halfway towards beating Seska Moscow this week. It's been a fantastic end to 2016 for Savannah Zvezda. Charles, uh, you are playing against defending championship, but you dominated in first half. I mean, the first half mean it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's behind us. Um, they're a really good team. Uh, great guards. Uh, great role players that, that play the position and they can get hot, you know, real, real soon. So in the first 20 minutes, we were really focused, but this, this next one's important. What happened now doesn't mean anything. Thank you. And that's the right kind of attitude from Charles Jenkins. 11 points, four steals for him in a wonderful first half, but it is only a first half. And you see the numbers overall for the two teams in terms of shooting. Very impressive on the offensive end for Savannah Zvezda, but it's all been beat, built off there defensive platform Turkish Airlines seven days Doge group Turkey home and Adidas official global sponsors in association with the Turkish Airlines Euro League well, let's check out some of the highlights from that First half, a steal from Jenkins there sums it all up. Four of those for him in the first quarter before having to sit on two fouls. Coach Atunis not happy at all. Ter Dosic got them going after a near five minute drought to start. So Venezuela started with a 13 0 run. They hit three of their first four attempts from downtown as well. Seskaroni started to get a little bit of joy inside after the introduction of Nikita Korbanov, who came up with a couple of assists. And there's one that fouled for Simonovic, who came in and racked up plenty of points quickly. Seven for him in the first half. Teodosic trying to get Seska free inside that time. Very little room to operate for them. That the highlight of the first half for the defending champions from Kurbanov. But what about that as a finish before the three-point play was completed by Guderich? Jovic with a few assists in the half. And Jenkins, what a story. A three-point play opportunity for him as well. 
He finishes four of five from the field, two of two from the line for 11 points in 11 minutes, as well as those four steals. Savannah so Zvezda up 48 to 34 at the half. Well, now let's take a look back at action from round 14, tipping off with Galatasaray Adair Bank hosting Anadolu Efes in an Istanbul derby. Gala using a 10-0 run at the end of the first to edge ahead. Blake Shilb sees an high 21 points out to establish a double-figure lead in the second. But whatever FS coach Velimir Parasovic said at halftime certainly worked. His team went on a 20-2 run and the host never recovered. Brandon Paul outstanding in just his second EuroLeague game. 19 points and five steals to help his team to a 10-point victory. Savannah's Vesta MTS Belgrade welcomed Real Madrid to a sold-out arena. The host battled from start to finish. Marco Simonovic on fire yet again. He had a team-high 20 points. Madrid suffered a scare early in the second half. Team sensation Luka Doncic going down with an ankle injury. And Jeffrey Taylor buried seven of ten threes for the Spaniards on his way to a career-high 25 points. But it wasn't enough. Zvezda won it by 12. Unix Kazan travel to Jalgiris Kaunas and find themselves down by double digits heading into the final 10 minutes. But the lethal combination of Keith Langford and Artisan Parakowski, who combined for 50 points, inspired a mammoth fourth quarter as Unix surged to victory. The Russians' eight point win, taking them level with Jalgiris in the standings at five and nine. To Germany, where Broza Bamberg dominated from the start against Olympiakos Piraeus. The hosts opened the game with an 11-0 run and never looked back. Vasilis Spanoulis cut the half-time deficit to 18 points en route to a team-high 15. But it was never going to be enough. Darius Miller drained four triples in the fourth to score 15 of his 20 points in the final period, helping Broza to a 14-point win. The rematch of last season's final lived up to expectation as Seska Moscow and Fenerbahce went down to the wire again. Milos Teodosic finishing with a team-high 21 helped the reigning champions to a double-digit lead in the first. But Fener would claw their way back, taking a strong lead in the fourth. Then with 27 seconds left, Nikita Korbanov fired the hosts ahead before Bobby Dixon took the game into overtime with a three-point play. Dixon was on fire after that. 12 of his game-high 25 points coming in the last five minutes as last season's runners-up recorded a EuroLeague record overtime win. Daru Shafagadosh coach David Blatt hosted his former title-winning team Maccabi Fox Tel Aviv in Istanbul. The visitors would fly out of the blocks controlling the first three quarters. Usual suspect Andrew Goudlock red hot with a joint game-high 23 points. But Blatt's men rallied from a 19-point deficit to take the lead in the fourth. Scotty Wilbeckin's fifth triple, giving them a four-point lead with 30 seconds to play. The American finished with a career-high 23 points as the Turks held on to win by two. To Greece, where Panathinaikos Superfood Athens welcomed Basconia Vittoria Gestaif. Chris Singleton scored 19 of his game-high 23 points in the first quarter. His third triple opening up a double-digit lead. Basconia then took control and carried a four-point edge into the final period. Panna replied, though. Mike James putting the hosts in front by three with two minutes to go. They held on to win by just a single point. The final game of the round saw FC Barcelona, Lassa, Thrashier, Seven, Emporio, Armani, Milan at the Palau Blaugrana. Anta Tomic was Barca's hero with 19 points, six rebounds and five assists. Petri Kopanen drained five from downtown for 15 points to tie his career high, while Tyrese Rice equaled the club's EuroLeague record with 11 assists. Milan were never in it, going down 89-75, their seventh straight defeat. Well, now let's look at the top ten plays of the last round. Here's Tyrese Rice, that's a lovely pass, and Tomic rises to the rim for the dunk. And Anta Tomic has made an impressive start. Simonovic on the break to finish it off. Great defense leading to easy points for Sylvanus Vesta. The 
Jeski. Slashes to the basket. Birch goes at Nelly. But Nelly says nine. Whoopsie, it's been lost, and here goes Clyburn to put in the jam. Tomei flashes to the ball. Tough pass from Tomei, and another contest by Hines. Hines and Udo go at it again. Hines comes up the better this time. Here's Kalates. And James Feldin throws it down. Great pass there from Kalates to the trailing player. And Feldin flew into the dunk. and with it possibly the game. Vasily to the rim! Jan Vasily with a thunder dunk! And Vasily strolls right down the boulevard. Tyus driving hard, and it's another rim-rattling dunk from Alex Tyus, who is absolutely on fire on this, his 100th EuroLeague appearance. Galatis is going to flow one up. No, he's not, because Adam Hanger said, get out of here, swatted it onto the backboard. And here's Shane Larkin. Shane Larkin for the alley-oop. Ilman Diop throws it down. A terrific start for Basconia. 4-0. And there's the alley-oop. Shane Larkin to Ilman Diop. Some remarkable action from round 14 of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. And what remarkable action we've had here in the opening 20 minutes of basketball at the Combank Arena. Savannah's Vezda, MTS Belgrade, leading Seska Moscow by 14 points, would you believe? 48 to 34. The defending champions behind and now facing the very real prospect of losing back to back games for the first time all season. Here's a couple of players that we've Featured tonight, Charles Jenkins. How about that? 11 points in the first half, four steals right down the bottom of that list there. Nikita Kurbanov providing the spark for Seska when he came back into the game. Hit a couple from the field, a couple from the line, and provided a few assists as well to try and get them going. He did that towards the midway point of the first half. Seska started the second quarter with a 6 0 run to try and close the gap. They got back within four, although after Savannah's Vesta had started with a 13 0 run, at the start of the game, they finished with a 12-0 run near the end of the first half to open up a big double-digit lead once more. Kyle Hines with an open dunk that time off one of those assists from Korbanov, but there hasn't been very little in terms of open room in the paint or even around it for Seska Moscow tonight. So Venice Vesta with nine steals as a team in the first half. Four of those from Charles Jenkins. Now let's hear from the Seska coach, Dimitris Itoudis. Mr. Itoudis, Red Star better open this match. They had 13-0 scoring run. They played very good in second quarter. And plus one in second quarter. You said everything. So we have to change our attitude or we better go and uh, hang ourselves. Thank you. Well, short but not particularly sweet from coach Dimitris Etoudis. Not happy at all with the attitude of the Seska players. And that just about says it all in terms of how he's feeling at the moment. He's a coach that demands perfection. I said it already, the EuroLeague coach of the year. He will not settle for his team taking their eyes off the ball the way they have done in the first half so far. Almost a half century of points from Savannah's Vezda. And uh, a good defensive display as well, a very good defensive display to limit the output of the likes of Teo Dosic and Decolo, who's returned to action this evening as well. There's been little to no joy for him on his return to action in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. Decolo scoreless, 0 of 2 from the field, just one assist so far, and he's played just six minutes. We're going to hear now from Savannah's Vesta's coach, Dejan Radonjic. 
coach, you played very good in first and second quarter. You are playing against defending champion. Did that fact help to your players to play without pressure? Of course, uh, we played very well in the uh, first half. Uh, we played very, very good uh, defensively on the start of the game. It's very important for us. We uh, made uh, some easy points in transition offense, uh, control the rebound, and I hope uh, we must try to keep uh, uh, same intensity in, uh, in defense and be smart in offense, and we'll see what's happening. Thank you. One coach a lot happier than the other so far, but we heard from Charles Jenkins before the half-time break saying it's only half-time. But that is the half-time score, a 14-point Savannah's Vesta lead. Turkish Airlines, Seven Days, Doge Group, Turkey Home, and Adidas. Official global sponsors in association with the Turkish Airlines Euro League. We saw some fantastic moments from the final four in Berlin there, with uh, Seska Moscow, of course, ending up on top of the podium, winning their seventh EuroLeague crown. We're on the roads to Istanbul this time around, a new and improved format for the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. And Savena Zvezda want to continue their journey down that road. They started the day just outside of the playoff places. They're hoping for a win that could put them into the top eight. We see a bit of the foul trouble here. A bunch of players on two fouls so far. Charles Jenkins there, the number 22 for Savannah's Vesta. Those were two key fouls because when he came out of the game, after an electric start, four steals in the opening seven and a half minutes, Seska Moscow then started to find their flow on offense and reel the hosts back in from a 13-point deficit down to four points. And when he came back in, that's when another Savannah's Vesta run started. So it's a key job for the two respective head coaches, Dejan Radonjic and Dimitris Itoudis, to try and limit that foul trouble and manage that foul trouble so that uh, individual players can play key parts of this second half. It's been a game of runs so far. Savannah Zvezda right off the bat, and then Seska Moscow with a comeback, and then Savannah Zvezda with another run before half-time. Who's going to get the pendulum to swing their way at the start of the second half? You can hear already the whistles and the jeers from the home fans because they feel Seska are making them wait. The fans will play potentially a pivotal role in this second half as they already have done in the first half. And maybe that man will play a pivotal role. Leading scorer for Seska Moscow, Andrei Vorontsevic with seven points, seven quick-fire points. He only played eight and a half minutes of the first 20. So here we go, start of the second half with Seska trailing by 14. Teja Dosic. Jenkins trying to close him down, it goes inside towards Kyle Hines, but he misses the shot, there's been a few of those for Seska tonight. They can run the floor again. Savannah's Vesta, and what a highlight real start to the second half as Stefan Jovic goes coast to coast. Now to the gates with a bang again. The lead up to 16. Hines will answer back with a big dunk. Missed the first one, he wasn't going to miss two in a row. Jovic on to Jenkins. Kuzmic looking to set a high screen, then rolls inside up against Ted Dosic. The mismatch there as he turns towards the rim. Double team comes across, though, and closes him down. 
And then the foul is called. Remember, Seska had a great deal of foul trouble in the second quarter. They reached the foul limit before the midway point of the second. Jovic with the inbound to Jenkins, who had it knocked away by Teja Dosic. Still Savena's vest the ball. Coach Atudis already with a thing or two to say to Milos Teja Dosic. Jovic on to Simonovic. Jenkins from the handoff, shot clock down to the final five seconds. Semenovic puts the ball on the floor, gets between two, hangs it up, won't go down. Kuzmic, a big offensive board though. Back out to Dangubic. Now Jenkins, a fresh 14 to work with for Savannah's Vezda. Into Kuzmic once more, and this time it took three to stop him as he gets Seska to pick up a second foul. There's Teja Dosic across to the far side. And Seska looking to eat into a sizable 16-point deficit now. And we've got a foul called on Savena Zvezda. On Simonovic. I do apologise if you lost your pictures for a few seconds there. Hopefully now we're back with you for the entirety. You won't want to miss any of this one. Three-pointer for Seska is good. When they desperately needed something... It's Vorontsevic who steps up again. Knocked away and out into bounds on the near side. Aaron Jackson with the defensive diligence for Seska. Didn't get the lucky bounce though. Jenkins. Hung high in towards Kuzmic again. He's able to find a way around Kyle Hines to finish. Fifteen points of Venezuela lead. Jackson bounce pass through to Hines, rejected. Kerbinov looking to attack puts it in. The joy for the Serbian fans short-lived. Jovic looking to dictate the tempo here for Savena Zvezda. Jenkins up against Ter Dosic, able to draw contact on the Seska number four, so that's the third foul on the defending champions in about two and a half minutes of the second half. Milos Ter Dosic picking up his second. Good to see that. Bit of sportsmanship afterwards. Here's Jenkins, non-shooting foul, so Savena Zvezda continued to try and attack Semenovic. Quick release as he turned and fired. Offensive rebound and a fresh 14 again for Savena Zvezda. Jovic, and it goes towards the big man once more. He rolls around the frame of Hines but can't score. Ted Osic. Hines trying to... Make a nuisance of himself on the perimeter, gets inside now, Ter Dosic couldn't retrieve the ball back from Jackson though. Here goes Jenkins, turns on the afterburners, Simonovic squeezes it in, off the glass. And Savena Zvezda lead by 15 again. Jackson around the back, finds a way through somehow. Vorontsevich, they back away from him, invite him to shoot, and you don't want to do that because he is deadly from the outside. 
three of four from three-point land now for Andrei Vorontsevic. He shot a remarkable 60% from downtown so far this season, the second best in the EuroLeague. And it goes to Kuzmic and a foul. So that is number four on Seska, with still six minutes and eight seconds to play in the third. This one on Aaron Jackson. Complete mismatch up against Ognjen Kuzmic. This was Jackson's assist. Beautifully done as he danced through the paint. And Vorotsevic did the rest. Vorotsevic hitting his shots from the outside. Seska still down by 12. Jovic fires it in. Kuzmic trying to turn. Another foul. So Seska hit the foul limit. At five minutes and four seconds remaining in the second. Now they there even sooner in the third. Five minutes and 56 seconds. We have Savannah Zvezda shooting foul shots now for every defensive Seska foul. Third on Nikita Korbanov. And Savannah Zvezda a chance to extend their 12-point advantage with Ognjen Kuzmic at the line. 26-year-old Serbian who really has done well this season. He's improved in recent weeks, double figures in the last three games, having not hit that mark in any of the previous five. He had 11 points and eight rebounds against Real Madrid last week. We know how dominant he is in that department, but he's been so good on the offensive end in terms of scoring and facilitating tonight as well. Vorotsevic threatened another, steps inside for the long two and drains that one as well. Three of three inside, three of four from downtown. Andrei Vorotsevic now has 15 points. 12 points the difference again. Danubic. Backing in against Teodosic, edging his way closer and closer to the basket. Difficult shot wouldn't go. Kuzmic, another rebound, and he squeezes it in. Ognjen Kuzmic continues to fire, and so does Savena Zvezda. 14 points for him now, as well as eight rebounds. Kurbanov, the three this time, can't hit. And the rebound grabbed by Simonovic. Jenkins. Simonovic on the offensive end now up against Teodosic. Into the paint he goes, but he's called for a travel and turns it over. It's the ninth turnover of the game for Savena Zvezda. Seska Moscow have 11, and they will call a timeout here. And you can see all even in the third, 12-12, Savannah Zvezda still up by 14. So coach Radonjic's team still holding the defending champions at more than arm's length right now. Seska haven't been able to eat into that 14-point halftime deficit at all. Eyes on the prize for Savena Zvezda and Dejan Radonjic. It has been up and down so far for Zvezda this season. A narrow loss here against Daru Shafika in round one. Back-to-back -back victories to follow that. Then they lost three straight. And then a couple more back-to-back -back wins, then another three-game losing streak. So it really has been a bit of a roller coaster ride. They've since won two of their last three. They thrashed Maccabi by 25 here a couple of weeks ago, lost by eight at Olympiakos early last week, and then beat second place Madrid by 12 here last Thursday. This would be their best run so far if they could win this one. Three wins in the last four to close out the calendar year. Seska on the ball with Aaron Jackson, who hands it off, gets it back from Teodosic. Vorontsevic trying to get himself free on the perimeter again. If Teodosic can find him, he can. It's Andrei Vorontsevic. He is the Russian sniper right now. Four of five from downtown. And looking to fire Seska Moscow back into the ballgame. 
They still trail by 11. Although he looks like he can't miss at the moment. Danubic lost it as he tried to turn inside. Now a chance for Seska to make it a single-digit game again. Jackson motoring through and able to finish, cuts the lead to nine. And now it's Savannah Zvezda. He'll call timeout with four minutes left of the third quarter. The defending champions have found another gear. Look at the shimmy dribble from Aaron Jackson. And Ognien Kuzmic didn't know what had hit him. Andre Vrancevic now the leading scorer in the game, has 18 points, 7 of 8 from the field. Quite a wonderful performance, 4 of 5 from downtown, 3 of 3 inside. Kuzmic and Jenkins, the two on double digits for Savannah Zvezda. It has been more of a team performance from them in terms of spreading the scoring around. They've got players on 9, 7 and 6 below that as well. As far as Seska are concerned, eight points from Kurbanov. And then a couple on six, but not a great deal from elsewhere. Here's Jenkins. The Serbian lead cut to nine points. Mitrovic getting inside towards the edge of the paint, trapped by the double team. Out of bounds, last touch off Kyle Hines. There is only 3.7 seconds remaining on the shot clock, however. It's going to have to be something quick from the sideline for Savena Zvezda. Branko Lazic will inbound the ball. Right in towards the low post, it didn't come off, and now Seska Moscow can run the floor. There's a foul before the shot on the perimeter as Corey Higgins tried to lay the ball off. Higgins with the pass, fouled straight away by Jovic. Jovic taking one for the team, it's his third foul. And there's some more of that pace from Aaron Jackson, blistering to burn the Savannah's Vesta defence. The lead is cut to seven. Jovic forward to Mitrovic. Here's Jenkins again, trying to get away from Jackson towards the foul strike. Kuzmic! Oh, the big jam! From Ognyang Kuzmic. Jackson off to Corey Higgins, who tries to get to the foul strike. Forced away by Jovic and Kuzmic. Shot clock down to the final five seconds. He'll try the baseline this time. Out to the corner to Colo. They step on the line and turn it over. Swarming, suffocating Savannah's Vesta defence again. It's not been a happy return for Nando De Colo. Still time for it to turn, though. Seska down by just nine. Jenkins on to Guderich. Across to the far side to Mitrovic. Guderich calling for it on the perimeter. It goes to Lazic instead for the three. Short rebound grabbed by Higgins. He was able to balance on the baseline. Jackson. He's found a way around the big frame of Kuzmic again. Back out to Higgins. Jackson wants more. Just hasn't stopped moving. Hines sets the pick and roll. Moves inside. And he squeezes it in with the contact from Lazic. A chance at a three-point play. Look at this from Kyle Hines. Big contact. Unable to hit as he was falling to the deck. Remarkable adjustment mid-air from Hines. Milko Bielitsa. Back into the ball game for Savannah Zvezda. 
Kyle Hines at the line and able to complete the three-point play. It's just a six-point game now. We're approaching the final two minutes of the third. Bielitsa setting the high screen. Around it goes Goodrich to the baseline, kicks it back out. Jenkins, though, lost it under his feet. The pass was off the mark, too low for Charles Jenkins. And Savena Zvezda turned the ball over, and Seska have a chance to get just a little bit closer. It's a much more tense, much more nervy atmosphere at the comeback now. Jackson looks really in the mood. Voroncevic, 18 points already. Here's Jackson again. Lightning fast crossovers. He'll be past you in the blink of an eye. Hangs it up towards Hines. Right at the end of the shot clock, he won't get the shot away on time. Coach Atudis' team through Aaron Jackson trying and trying to put the moves on the Savena Zvezda defence, but to no avail. Final 90 seconds of the third. Goodirich turned it over on the last possession, this time able to find Mitrovic. Jenkins trying to get free, able to find the ball in the paint, puts it off the mark, rebound for Oksovic. Here's De Colo. De Colo on to Voroncevic, leading scorer in the game. Now Jackson again. Aaron Jackson through the legs. Hines rolling into the centre, trying to create some room for him, but thrown away. And then down the floor goes Gunnarich for the dunk. Another big Belgrade blow to the chin of the defending champions. Eight points, the Savannah Zvezda lead. De Colo back out to Jackson. Voroncevic, the long three wouldn't go, and Gunnarich will grab a rebound as well. Well, they are going to hold Seska at bay until at least the fourth quarter. Marco Gunnarich taking his time, wisely so, with the game clock ticking down. Final five seconds of the shot clock. Jenkins will quicken the offence now. On it goes to Mitrovic, who flipped it up at the buzzer, but it wouldn't fall. And this has got to be quick offence for Seska. Three to shoot. Aaron Jackson, you can't get quicker than him. Voroncevic closed down as he looked to fire another three on the perimeter. The double team was right in his face. And Savannah Zvezda will keep on fighting until the finish. The lead at the end of three is eight points. Savannah Zvezda 64, Sesko Moscow 56. Well, this is a night that these fans might remember for some time. What a couple of games here it would be for them in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague if they could beat Real Madrid and then beat Seska Moscow. Here's a breakdown of the scoring over the first three quarters. Shooting 56% inside, 43% from downtown so far. They've only taken seven three-point attempts. Savannah Zvezda hit three of them. And look at the foul shot shooting as well. 17 of 19 from the stripe for 89%. They're winning the rebounding battle and they are certainly winning the defensive battle. 11 steals in the game now to Seska's five and three big blocks to boot. Highlights from the third quarter and Jovic running the floor for the big finish. Kyle Hines trying to give Seska fans something to shout about. Andre Vorotsevich is the man who's done that the most. Four or five from downtown, but they haven't found an answer on the defensive end. Coach Atudis' team. Voroncevic left free to finish that time. Another from the outside, 18 points in the game for him to lead all scorers, seven of nine from the field. Although Savannah Zvezda have shared their scoring around 16 now from Kuzmic, along with eight rebounds, and 11 from Charles Jenkins, along with six assists and six steals. Tremendous finish, that one from Kyle Hines. He has nine points in the game. But here we are, start of the fourth quarter, and Savannah Zvezda holds an eight-point lead, a chance to make it a double-digit lead with possession now. Reeled in by Bielitsa. Back out it goes to Gudurich. 
Juderic taking his time. Bielitsa, edge of the paint up against De Colo, puts it on the floor, bounces towards the baseline, but it won't go down for Lazic, who looks across at the referee and thought he was fouled. De Colo up against Goodrich. His first score in the fourth might be a real momentum builder, and it is for Nondo De Colo, who scores his first EuroLeague points since round seven. He'd missed his previous two shots from the floor tonight. The lead closed to six points, and there's a foul, the first of the fourth. And it's on Kyle Hines. Remember, Seska have hit the foul limit before the midway point of the last two quarters. That's the third personal on Hines. Simonovic attacking, couldn't score, and he was looking around at the officials as well. De Colo. You just wonder if this is this close, with a few minutes to go, if uh, the atmosphere might just get a little bit nervy and the pressure will start to build on Savannah's Vesda. Well, they'll get this call in their favour. A few gloomy looks on the face of those in Seska Red right now. The push off there by De Colo. So the offensive foul turns the ball over to Savena Zvezda. Goodirich, 17th turnover of the game from Seska. Bielitsa faked the three, but then called for the travel as he looked to go around Kyle Hines. It's not quite happened for Milko Bielitsa so far this evening. Here's Teja Dosic bringing the ball up towards half-court, getting away from Lazic. The handoff to De Colo, who's on the move, and the officials have spotted something else here on the perimeter. Kyle Hines is feeling the back of his leg as well. Seska will hope that's not a, a legitimate injury concern. De Colo will inbound from the sideline after that latest call. Hines looks OK. There's Teja Dosic. We're going to go around the big frame of Hines. Goes the other way. Hines then rolls in towards the paint. Bielitsa knocked it away. And there's a wrestling match on the deck again. with 2.7 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Boy, does this team fight. Bielitsa almost knocked it behind the back to his teammate, and Lazic was straight down in a flash. They don't care how many bumps and bruises they wake up with tomorrow morning. They want to wake up knowing they have given 100% against the defending champions. Has to be a quick shot here. De Colo steps back, misses. What a towering rebound that is, though, from Hines. He's got a battle between four of them. And there's another foul call. They have to keep their heads here, Savannah's Vesda. You can hear the crowd getting a little bit riled. Seska will thrive off this and try and build momentum of their own. Simonovic catching Hines just across the forehead. So that's three fouls on Savena Zvezda in just 100 seconds of the fourth quarter. Kyle Hines at the line, hearing the boos from the Belgrade crowd, and he misses the first. Hines on nine points so far. He's just six points away from the 1,500 mark in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. And he misses both, although the referee quick to blow the whistle against Simonovic. So Hines with a retake. And misses again. And this time they're able to recover. Take two, still not good enough for Kyle Hines. 
Savannah's Vesda up by six. Simonovic across to the far side. Bielitsa looking at create a bit of room for Gooderich. Then towards Bielitsa, out of bounds off the fingertips of Hines. Kyle Hines also four rebounds away from the 800 mark. A couple of reachable milestones this evening, but he's not happy. Now he's going to take his seat, missing a couple of foul shots. Simonovic off to Walters, and there's another foul. A very stop-start opening two minutes to the fourth quarter. Three fouls on both teams already, with still eight minutes and a second to play. Walters inbounding to Gooderich. Bielitsa setting the high screen. Now he gets into the centre. It goes to Simonovic on the far side, though. And the foul is on Antonov, so that's four on Seska now. Well, this could be a very long fourth quarter of Turkish Airlines EuroLeague basketball. And amen to that, because it has been some game so far, and one of those games you don't want to end. Out to Lazic for the three, can't hit. Offensive rebound, Bielitsa, though. Here's Walters. Final five seconds of the shot clock. He looks to quicken the offence now. Up against Augustine, fellow American over the top of him. Wouldn't fall. Ter Dosic trying to get the rebound. Augustine behind him does. Higgins fires the three off the mark. Rebound recovered by Gooderich. Bielitsa looking to make himself available. Gooderich, though, is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Augustine. Shoots over the top. Won't go down. Lasic fighting for every ball. It is wonderful to see. Branko Lasic is one of the players that really has put his body on the line for Savena Zvezda tonight. They're having to leave everything out there on the floor to have a chance of beating the defending champions. The all-time record between these two is 9-0 in favour of Seska. Seven minutes, potentially, standing between Savena Zvezda and a famous win. Korbanov back out, gets it back from Decolo, up against Gulerich, battling away inside, turns and shoots, but it's well short, and Walters grabs the loose ball. Simonovic. Taking his time, finding Walters. Look at Coach Etudis over on the sideline. Almost burning as many calories as his players right now. The three-point shot will fall for Nate Walters. Savena Zvezda up by nine, and look what it means to the thousands of fans in Belgrade. Nate Walters with his second field goal of the evening. And the timeout called by coach Dimitris Sitoudis. Well, they know this could be some night at the Combank Arena. We're into the final six and a half minutes here on round 15 of the Turkish Airlines Euro League regular season. Savannah Zvezda up by nine against Seska Moscow and a foul called here. That's going to be four on both teams. With still a whole heap of time to play. Second on Walters, who just drained that three to force the timeout. There he is up against Decolo. Decolo hanging but not hitting. And the ball recovered on the baseline by Bielitsa. Gooderich trying to get around Kurbanov to the far side. Walters thought about the three again. Attacks Ter Dosic this time. Puts it up and puts it in. 
And so Venez Vesta's lead is double figures again. To Collar. Getting in towards the paint. Back out, Ter Dosic, the long three. Hand in his face, wouldn't fall. And Walters trying to recover the loose ball. It goes in favour of the home team. Seska Moscow are not used to being in this position. Look around this arena at the moment. These fans believe they are five and a half minutes away from making history. Simonovic trying to attack. Will it fall? Yes, it will. The reigning champions cut open at the comeback. Seska just can't stop the bleeding. A chance at a three-point play for Marko Simonovic. So Venez Vezda in cruise control at the moment. And the Combank is red hot right now. Marko Simonovic becoming the third Savannah's Vesta player into double figures now has 11, as does Charles Jenkins. They're led by the 16 of Ognjen Kuzmic, who has also grabbed eight rebounds. And from Charles Jenkins, as well as those 11 points, they have six assists and six steals, which really sums up their defensive display. But there has been so much to be admired on the offensive end as well from Savannah's Vesta. The lead is 13, and that was the start, wasn't it, for Savannah's Vesta over the first five minutes, 13-0. So you take this game since the opening five minutes, and they're dead even, but Coach Tudis was so disappointed at half-time by the attitude of his players, the commitment to the cause, they're facing a, a real uphill battle now as Ter Dosic kicks it to Voroncevic, who fires again. Five from downtown for Andre Voroncevic. And Seska closed the gap to 11. Guderich, midway point of the fourth. Here's Lazic, he'll try and answer back with a three. Off the mark, they haven't taken on too many this evening, Savena Zvezda. Just their 11th attempt. And uh, Branko Lazic is 0 of 4. There goes Jackson. Certainly can't question his effort this evening. Ter Dosic trying to make it back to back threes for Seska. It's batted back, and Lazic will recover on the far sideline in front of his coach. Milos Ter Dosic has. Just about resorted to trying to fire the long ranger time and time again now. He keeps missing them. Here's Lazic. And it goes towards Bielitsa. Ball bounced away. And out for a Savena's Vesta ball. I think Voroncevic thinks the last touch might have come off the Savena's Vesta player. We'll see it again here as Bielitsa rolled towards the rim. Whose foot does this come off? There you go, it does. That was my first instinct. So a tough call there for Seska. Just four and a half seconds to shoot here. Bielitsa with the long three. Very close to making it. Seska still not done and dusted, but they're running out of time. They need to spark a comeback sooner rather than later. Korbanov, bounce pass into Augustine, battling away inside. Can't find room to operate, though, and here comes Walters to Jenkins. One of the stars of the show. He can't score this time. Seska trying to make it 
a single digit game. Ted Osic to Jackson. And they'll turn the ball over this time for a travel. Disappointment for Zeska and for Aaron Jackson. So towards the final three and a half minutes we go. It is still a double-digit lead for Savannah's Vesda. Walters. And he's going to be fouled by Hines with Seska over the foul limit. So foul shots for Savannah's Vesda. Four fouls on Kyle Hines now. Well, he is not used to losing two games in a row in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. It looked as though Seska Moscow were going to blitz through the regular season and were guaranteed to take top spot, not anymore. They've still got a couple of games gap between themselves and second place, but Savannah's Vezda and Fenerbahce have proved that they are beatable. And even with De Colo and Ter Dosic back in action. Jackson very nearly getting that one to fall. Instead, he'll have to try and earn them at the line as Walters picks up his third foul. Kuzmich leading scorer for Savannah's Vesda. He's done a good job of hitting his foul shots tonight, eight of eight. It's Aaron Jackson at the line for Seska at the moment. And able to close the gap a little. Jenkins up against Korbanov. Now Kuzmich, on it goes to Walters. Walters harassed all the way by Aaron Jackson. Kuzmich rolling into the centre, the trap on half court. He found a way out, beautifully done! And unplugged the photocopier because Branko Lazic makes it a big jam. Ted Osic stripped of the ball by Lazic. Here they come again. The three wouldn't quite go down, but Jenkins, an offensive rebound. And Walters this time will hold it. Final five seconds of the shot clock. Walters misses again from the outside. That might have done it. Here goes Jackson. No time to waste for Seska. Ter Dosic off the leg of Lazic. What a finish from him. What a pass to find him. What a performance from Savannah's Vesta. Look at this from Walters out of the double team on half court. And Lazic drove the baseline with authority and hung on the rim for a little extra impetus. De Colo, final two minutes, they're down by 13, the defending champs. And De Colo misses, Kuzmich grabs the rebound. De Colo is just one of six from the field on his return. Remember, Seska came in with the best offence in the EuroLeague, averaging 92 points per game. The second best defence has limited them so far to 63. Here's Kuzmich, this time from the near side goes Simonovic. It's a dunk party in Belgrade. And that might just be the knockout blow for Seska. Timeout called by the defending champions. They have been torn to shreds in the Serbian capital.
Here's your seven days magic moment of a magic performance for Savena Vesta. And what a pass out of the double team on half court for Walters to find Lazic for the huge dunk. The exclamation point on what will be an historic win. They're within touching distance of that win now. Franco Lazic with his first score of the night. But that rather sums it up for Savena Zvezda. They have all played their part. We've seen Nate Walters come to the fore in the second half as well. That tremendous assist, his first of the game, but nine points. He had a big three. A little earlier in the quarter. Seska down by 15 with 90 seconds to play. Korbanov across to Decolo. Decolo trying to get into the paint. Out to Jackson. Vorontsevich will shoot another three, but he misses. Kyle Hines with the rebound. They'll keep on firing. They'll keep on missing. And Savannah Zvezda can slow it down, hold it, and enjoy it. They are a minute away from inflicting back-to-back -back defeats now on the defending champions, just the third defeat of the season. Simonovic off the mark with a three, an offensive rebound for the home team as well. They can enjoy another 10 seconds of possession. Thousands to their feet in the Serbian capital. Kyle Hines with a rejection but it's too little too late for Seska. Ted Osic trying to dance his way through the defence and able to score, but that is just his second field goal of his return to action. Walters. Back to Simonovic. Seven seconds the difference between shot and game clock now. Simonovic will fire another three. And that will just about do it. What a performance from the Serbian champions in Belgrade to beat the defending EuroLeague champions. A Belgrade blockbuster of a performance from coach Radonjic's team. And it was a team effort. That's the key word. They were superb from start to finish. As Seska lose just their third game all season. So Venice Vesta win it 78 to 67. So Venice Vesta were led by the 16 points and 10 rebounds of Ognjen Kuzmic, a double double, but 14 points from Simonovic, 11 points, six assists, and six steals from Charles Jenkins. They had nine points from Walters. They had nine from Guderich, seven from Dangubic, six from Stefan Jovic. This is a night that they will remember for a long, long time. And they will take their time, I'm sure, to leave the court. Here's your Adidas player of the game. What a team performance from Savena Zvezda, but inside Ognjen Kuzmic at times looked unplayable. 16 points, he had all eight of his free throws, a double-double, 10 rebounds as well as those 16 points and two blocks. What a defensive performance from Savena Zvezda. Congratulations on this victory. Uh, you become third uh, team in this season Euroleague, uh, which won against CSK. I think that this is one of the biggest wins for us, and I think this is a great, great way to start new year. What decided this match? I mean, we start playing defense from the beginning, and I think that we keep it all 40 minutes, and that that was key for us. Last four rounds, three victories. How do you feel? I feel great about that. It will be nice to keep it. And how do you feel? You played very good tonight. I feel good. I mean, always like we have best fans here, so they give us great energy. That's that's a big plus for us. Thank you and best of luck. Thanks.
That's double figures in four straight games now for Ognjen Kuzmic, and also leading the way in the EuroLeague in terms of rebounding. He had 10 of those tonight, a double-double, 16 points, 10 rebounds. You can see there, two steals, two blocks as well. Part of a wonderful defensive performance from Servena Zvezda. We're going to hear from their coach now, Dejan Radonjic. Tonight, the best game for us in this year, and I feel excellent. Of course, we played great game, defensively, offensively. I'm very happy. Big success, congratulations for fans, for my players, and happy new year. Thank you. Almost looks as though Coach Radonjic is close to tears. You can see, you can hear, you can feel how much this win means to Savannah Zvezda. Here's the highlights of an historic win for the Serbian champions. And that's how it all started. The defence of Charles Jenkins. Four steals for him in the first seven and a half minutes. It took Seska five minutes to get themselves on the board. It was a nervy watch for coach Radonjic. Seska threatened at times to come back into the game. They reduced an early 13-point deficit down to four on a couple of occasions, but they kept battling away. Savena Zvezda, and they held off the challenge of the defending EuroLeague champions, despite a monster game from Andrei Vorotsevic, who hit five three-pointers en route to 21 points, a game-high 21, but it was not enough for Seska as they fall to back-to-back -back defeats for the first time this season. Their third defeat of the campaign. And what a pass that was for the player of the game, Nate Walters from centre court out to the driving Branko Lazic for the win. So Savannah's Vesda up to seven and eight now in the new season as we see the breakdown of the scoring. The damage done on defence from Savannah's Vesa, they force Seska into foul trouble as well. 20 of 22 from the foul line, that's a key stat, 91% from the strike. But it was all about defence. The second best defensive team in the competition, limiting the best offence to 67 points. There's a look at Voroncevic's 21 points, but Ognjen Kuzmic inside with that double-double. And there you go, eight of eight from the foul strike as uh, Savena Zvezda got there time and time again. So Savena Zvezda, as I say, up to seven and eight so far. Seska Moscow fall to 12 and three. Still a couple of wins clear of Real Madrid at the top, but look at that eighth place. That's the key now. Savena Zvezda, not just with an historic win, but a win that takes them into the playoff places at the midway point of the season. That will be a huge boost for them as Efes fall to ninth. And still a long, long way to go, of course, but they have now won three of their last four. They have found their flow, and on home court, they can beat anyone, as they have proved tonight. And this place clearing out pretty quickly, and they will party perhaps long into the night in Belgrade. Well, until next time, keep it one team. Keep it one way, one play, keep it the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. Turkish Airlines Euroleague in association with